here's the violet and today we have a look today we're gonna create something i hope it goes right we're gonna try a bunch of new stuff like i said i'm gonna try for the first time try and apply a bald cap and yes this is a very very shitty one and by the way if you're wondering what's wrong with my hand i just tried some new product that i had like for a year or something from Primark and I never understood what it was. It's called PS Fright Club Scarfix Fake Wound Molding Liquid. And I was like, how am I supposed to work with this? And then I put on a ton in my hand and then I let it dry and I blow dried it as well. And it came out with this effect and I actually like it. It's pulling my hairs a lot, but it, I mean, it's fine. So you'll have to see my hand like this till the end of the tutorial. So yeah, by the way, I'm not naked. I'm just have a, a thing, a thing here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull our hair back so that we can work with our little bold cap. By the way, can I show you something? Please look at these images. What is this? What is this face? And what is that application? Oh, I love these things that they have in Halloween. Oh, really a wonderful time of the year, isn't it? Okay, so what I'm gonna use to put my hair back is I'm just gonna untie it. It's quite of a mess today. And I'm gonna use hair gel. This one is from Nivea Men, if you wanna know. And now, in the end, we're just gonna go ahead and grab our Sask Half Cat Bait Load. Blasting free spray and just kind of go over the top just to make sure everything is glued into place. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to put that over my face, over my head. Oh, it's so tight, bruh. Oh, it's gonna be a pain. This is going to be a giant pain to wear. Oh God. So let me mark where I have to cut on my ears. I actually don't have to cut it much. Is this a child item or something? Cause, oh, this is very tight. <laughs> Okay, so I basically already fucked it up because I cut it too much on the sides and I'm already imagining the headache that I'm going to get to use this so many hours. Oh. I'm, I think I'm going to line up the front part and then cut a bit in the back because this is going to hurt a lot because this look is going to take a bit and when I say a bit, it's a lot. I think I'm going to cover my brows in Vaseline. I'm going to use Spirit Gum from Marin. And I'm just gonna apply a bit on my forehead so I can stick the cap on. So, let's try not to tear this sheet down and get it onto my head. Okay, Spirit Gum is sticky. Okay. So let me try to see what I'm doing. Fuck. Okay, now I know why people don't like to wear ball caps. This is fucking torture. Like, I'm a girl, I'm supposed to have like a smaller head. Like, how is this supposed to be used in guys? Like, Jesus. So what I'm going to use is cotton and latex. I'm also going to use liquid latex from Marin. And we're going to apply that with a sponge. I'm actually doing as I go. And probably it's going to be a mess. But hopefully in the end it will look like a good mess. Hopefully. Anyways. Hope I don't go bald, actually bald after this. 
I have so many stuff glued to my hands. Gross, Brad, gross. Okay. There's cotton everywhere. But not here, where it's supposed to. Gorgeous. I've never been so gorgeous. <laughs> what is this? This flap. No flaps here. Let's do something crazy. So you're probably wondering, why the fuck am I doing this mess? So, first I want to blend the ball cap. And you're probably thinking, you're doing it worse. And I say, don't judge me till I'm done. I mean, you can, but I don't know. Maybe you're gonna be right. Maybe you're gonna do shit. But <gasps> I got latex everywhere. Ooh, fun. <laughs> It has a bit of latex in your gorgeous. This is what I call gorgeousness. So as I told you, this look is full of first, first stuffs, you know? I actually did my first prosthetic, which to be truth, it actually looks like shit, but I might actually be able to work with it. So, don't judge me, okay? This is what it looks like. And today, we, for our color, the color we want to reach is this one. This green here. This is actually the ears that we're going to use for this look as well. So, we're going to mix some colors to get that color. It's very swampy, a swampy green. For that, for that I'm going to use the NYX... SFX Creme Color, Creme, Cream, Creme, this one, in black, and I'm just going to paint a bit of the mouth, I'm just gonna see, looking sexier in each clip. Anyways, don't forget to drink our water, because it's gonna be the last one. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a bit of spirit gum around my hair, my hair, my mouth, and also on the prosthetic I'm going to apply. So after this I'm going to apply cotton and then the latex in layers so that we can secure the prosthetic very well on the face. I could actually move my like my mouth with no problem after this because it was very well secured. So once you let that dry you can also use your blow dry so it can dry more easily and quicker. Uh, you're going to powder everything and then start painting. Basically, I started painting everything in our main color, which was that swampy green. And after that, I gave some details with a smaller brush and painted around the more difficult uh, places in the prosthetic. After that, I applied that weird product all around my chest so I could give that swampy, weird texture that I did on my hand, as shown before. I let that dry, that took a lot of time to dry. Uh, but meanwhile that was drying, I was doing other stuffs, like painting uh, around my teeth with uh, red paint, also from Snazeru, and then darkening around my eyes with black eyeshadow and eye pencil, and bringing that shadow upwards, so that it would give a very hangry look to it. Then after that I applied uh, green eyeshadow all over the look, so the green would pop more, and also to hide some of the white that, that was given by the latex. In this look, I didn't paint my ears like as well, like totally, because I had my piercings and I didn't want to get any product in there, so yeah. Um, here I already gave some more details around the face, I gave like little wrinkles around the eyes and some wrinkles around the mouth and also did the nose. Um, and then I shaded everything with black eyeshadow to give more depth and more intensity. <laughs> With that same uh, dark shadow, I did some contour to make it look more creepy. And after that, I got my spoolie. And then I just kind of did some holes in there. Also with my nails, just kind of trying to give that weird texture. 
After that, I applied some uh, brown shadow on those holes to make it more realistic and like if it was like more deep than it was really. <laughs> so, and then I painted everything with the same green. And then with some eyeshadows, I started to give it some more texture and also make the green more vibrant uh, the same way I did on the face. Then with a mix of purple, greens, blues and browns, I gave more texture to the holes and to the skin to make it look more gross, basically. <laughs> Then with a uh, stippling sponge, I started to give more and more texture <laughs> because this look had to have a lot of texture. <laughs> and then I grabbed that same paint and did with a with sponge all around. Also used black and brown and used the same technique basically. So here I'm already drawing some eyebrows, which I didn't like, so I'm going to change that in, in the end, you're gonna see how. Um, I did some wrinkles on the head as well, and I basically put on a bunch of dark shadow to make it more prominent. And some dark shadow around the horns, so it would like appear that they were actually in my head, and not just like a prop. <laughs> um, I also painted around the horns, because they were... Uh, previously they were red and black, so I kind of just painted them green and then added some um, black details and some white highlights. So here I'm, I'm having some highlights around the eyes, also around the mouth, the nose. This actually makes the character look way more alive and makes the difference. Around the, the teeth too, so it would look more like, like, like it was gross, more gross. <laughs> this look has to look more gross. <laughs> also applied some highlights on my chest, on those darker areas. Like I said, don't mind those those eyebrows because they're gonna be changed. I actually actually did a more smoky look to the eyebrows, um, and did them closer to the eyes so it would look like this character is like more hangry, <laughs> hangry and scary. Let's say that way. So yeah, I'm just popping those contacts. You're gonna have to add some blood around the teeth, so it looks more grotesque. And uh, that's basically it. And you'll end up with this swampy and gross looking monster. Here's a dance for you. <laughs> Thank you so much guys, I hope you guys liked this little tutorial. Uh, any doubts, anything, just ask away in the comments. Uh, here in the pics I also added my ears, my actual ears, so they are not present. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much, I uh, hope you guys liked it and stay safe, bye bye!